checking out the duo board from Bill Kit Board. Let's get into it. Bill Kitboard, you guys are going to make me join the dark side. I mean, the DIY side. If you only knew the power of the dark side. I thoroughly enjoyed the board and I have a lot of information to share with you. So bear with me. The first thing I want to discuss is what makes Bill Kitboard and the Duo Board very unique. Unlike a lot of other boards, when you purchase something, they come pre-assembled. The Duo Board comes unassembled and it is up to you as the consumer to put the board together. Now, Build Kit Board takes a lot of the guesswork out of it because they send you parts that are compatible. You're gonna get motors, ESC, belts, motor covers, batteries that are all compatible. So they take that guesswork out of there. You're not gonna have to splice wires or do any soldering. It's almost like purchasing some furniture from Ikea and going home and assembling it. And what that allows individuals to do is get the DIY experience and get DIY parts that are unique and powerful without having to build something from scratch. Now let's talk about the board and the ride experience. Kit board is offering a deck in two flavors. They have what's called the Flex 1, which is a little bit more flexible, and the Flex 2, which is less flexible. And I actually have the Flex 2 deck. And to me, this is something why I don't understand why other board companies don't do that. Oftentimes, when you're wanting to purchase a board, I've seen individuals say, I wish they had the option to choose different decks based on rider weight or the style of riding that you do. And Build Kit Board provides individuals that opportunity to choose a deck that will fit their riding style and then maybe their rider's weight. One of the elements that's probably really gonna catch people's attention when they look at this board is the length of the deck. The dual board is a lot longer than a lot of other street boards. I spoke to Build Kit Board about this and they explained that they actually made the deck longer so that when individuals put on the different type of wheel options, the street wheels, the cloud wheels, or even the six inch all-terrain tires, they don't have to worry about wheel bite or their feet actually touching the wheels when they're riding the board. What I found was that this longer deck allowed you to get a lot of different foot placements on the board, which really aided in comfort when I was riding. I really didn't get foot fatigue when riding the board because I was able to shift my feet around at so many different places on the board, which is something I haven't been able to do on other boards because of just the overall length of the deck. Overall, I would say it was a very comfortable ride. And when riding, I didn't feel like the board was swaying too much. And a lot of it has to deal with the fact that I had to flex too. But then also the fact that Build Kit Board claims that their decks have something called the True Flex. And that when you're riding the board, even though the deck flexes, it doesn't flex all over the place. And you don't have to worry about the enclosure scraping or feeling unstable when you're riding at high speeds. So very unique. <laughs> Build Kit Board is utilizing Caliber clone trucks on their boards. And if you know anything about Caliber, they have a reputation of being very stable trucks. And when riding this board, I would say that these trucks were very stable. This board has a lot of speed and torque. And when you're accelerating, at no point did I feel unstable. I also felt like I was able to carve when I needed to. I did change out one of the bushings on the deck. I think I changed out the board side and put a stiffer bushing there. And overall, I would say the only thing I had to do to these trucks was tighten them up and I was able to go out and enjoy the riding experience. So I have no major complaints with these trucks here. The Duo board ships with 97 millimeter wheels with 76 a durometer and that is a very soft durometer and a very good size wheel for being able to tackle a lot of different terrain whether you're riding in the streets pavements 
or if the, the roads that you ride on are not all that ideal. I have no major complaints with these wheels. To me, it was a very good riding experience when you talk about these wheels. They eat up a lot of the cracks and the vibrations, and I think that paired with the True Flex deck and how the length of the deck allowed me to really get a lot of foot placements really created a very comfortable ride. I really have no complaints about these wheels. Now, of course, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, riders, of course, have the opportunity to put whatever wheels that they want on their board. You can get the pulleys to put the wheels that you want on there, or if you want to go with the cloud wheels or the all-terrain wheels. So the fact that you have these options, it really allows you as a rider to customize the riding experience that you want. However, the board does ship with the 97 millimeter wheels with the 76.8 durometer, which I think is very solid. <laughs> This is probably one of the most exciting things about this board. This board has amazing acceleration and torque. And when you throttle on the board, it is instantaneous. You're able to accelerate and get to the top speed incredibly fast, almost like I've never been able to experience before. And I let my friend ride this board and he has an Eastgate vehicle, but he hasn't ridden anything with this type of power. And he accelerated so hard on the board that it actually tossed him off of the board. And that's not to say that this board is not predictable. It's just that it has a lot of power, acceleration, and torque, and you need to be mindful of that. Now, I had the opportunity to do a hill climb test, and something amazing happened. A buddy of mine was actually riding um, one of his uh, budget boards. It is a very respectable budget board. I'm not gonna mention the brand. And we decided to go up this hill. I was on the dual board. He was on his board. And the interesting thing is I'm actually about 40 pounds heavier than him. And then on top of that, I had my bag with my camera and some other supplies. So that probably was at least another five pounds. So I'm about 45 pounds heavier than him. And even though I had, and even though I weighed more than him, when we went up this hill, I accelerated past him incredibly easy. And to be honest about it, I was only on the throttle about 75, maybe 80% and I slowed down because the road got really bumpy going up this hill. So if you live in a neighborhood that is hilly or if you live in areas that you might need that acceleration and that torque, the dual board is definitely giving you that. And I found that the acceleration and torque was very useful because I do a lot of street riding and a lot of times I have to pass cars or I might need to get over real quick, switch a lane, pass somebody that's parked in a bike lane or if the road merges, get back over. And this board allows you to do that effortlessly. I'm telling you, I haven't experienced this type of acceleration and torque before. It is very impressive. It is very responsive. And I think the thing that I like the most about it is that sometimes I've been on other DIY boards and one of the things that kind of turned me off about them before was that sometimes people don't set up their ESC and their acceleration and braking curves correctly. And build kit board, did an amazing job with this. Even though this board is incredibly torquey, has a lot of acceleration, it is very predictable. And to me, it's very safe. I let a lot of guys in the Atlanta Eastgate crew ride the board and they co-signed every single thing I said about the board. The acceleration is amazing. The torque is amazing. This is another area that the dual board and build kit board is just exceeding. The brakes on this board are absolutely amazing. Now, the way the board comes set up, it doesn't have the feature where it actually goes in reverse when it breaks. That is something that you could change in the, the best app if you wanted to because of the fact that it is a very customizable app. However, even though it doesn't have that type of braking system, the brakes are amazing on this board. And many of you guys know that I like acceleration, I like torque, I like speed. But to me, the most important factor is, can a board stop? Yes, it can go really fast, but can it stop when I need it to stop? And this board does that incredibly well. And not only can it just stop on flat surfaces, this board can make complete stops even on declines. And that is something that is very impressive to me, but then it's also very important as well. So this is another area that dual board and build kit really knocked it out of the park with. Very impressive brakes. As I alluded to earlier, build kit board in this dual board is actually utilizing the best ESC. Many individuals in the DIY community, this is the main ESC that they use. 
And people love this ESC because it is so customizable. There are so many different things that you can do. Adjust your braking and acceleration curves. You can do different functionalities as if you want your brakes to actually be reversed. Uh, Bill Kidboard was talking to me about they have a feature where they have something called Smart Reverse where you can enable it to where when you brake, um, you come off the throttle and brake again and then the board will go in reverse. So the fact is this board has almost unlimited options because of the best ESC and you're able to customize so many different things. I was speaking to Bill Kidboard about this and they said that they're also going to start releasing a lot of different tutorial videos explaining how you can do different things to your ESC to get the customized experience. A lot of other boards you have the ability to maybe change some small settings, tweak things, go from different modes, but it's nothing like the customizability that you get with this best ESC and the best tool with this particular board. So once again, another department that build kit board and a duo board are just knocking it out of the park. Very impressive. The dual board is utilizing a 10S3P battery configuration utilizing Samsung 18650 cells and has 324 watt hour battery. Now this is a pretty decent sized battery for the style of board that we have here. Now when I did my range test I was getting anywhere from 12 to 15 miles on the board and that is pretty solid uh, considering my weight and then also how many parts of Atlanta are very hilly. Now one of the things that was really interesting about this board is that even though the battery gets low, the board still has some very good torque and acceleration. At one point I got the battery so low that when I, I came from a, a standstill and I tried to accelerate it wouldn't really go. But when I kick push the board and then I accelerate it, it almost had the same acceleration and torque as if the board was almost full. So that was something that is very impressive to me. And I think that individuals will be impressed with the range that you're able to get. Now, there's a lot of things that impacts range, riding style, rider's weight, the terrain that you're riding this board. But I think overall, many people will be comfortable with the type of range that they're able to get out of the board. Now I praise this board and many of you guys know that one of the elements I like to discuss most about boards is things that I think could be improved. And I'll honestly say this is one of the boards that I've had that I don't have much to say about things that can be improved on the board. Now a lot of the areas that I have feedback on or constructive criticism are minor things that people can probably address themselves. For example, one of the things is I don't really kind of like the clear grip tape because I feel like it gets dirty. However, I understand that they put that on there because a lot of people may want to customize their board, so it's not that big of a deal. I was speaking with Bill Kid Board about this, and they were saying that in the future, they may even come out with grip tapes that are different colors for individuals, so that's something to think about. One of the other things that, <laughs> this might be kind of silly, but I really like this board, and this board is such a high performer, I just don't think that the name Duo Board fits with the personality of the board. I feel like this board is so good, it's so fast, it has a lot of acceleration and torque, it does so many different things well. Like you're getting a wonderful experience out the board and I just felt like it needs a name that really represents that and I don't feel like Duo Board does it. I I, I mean, I just, I just don't. I love the board, so Bill Kid Board, don't get on me about that. I love the board, all right? So there it is. We, we don't do that here. And honestly, I would say those are like really my, my only real nitpicks that I have about this board. They've done so many different things well with this board and it's really hard to find faults with it. And that's, that's just being honest about it. I really enjoy this board and there's a lot to like. The motor is very powerful. The acceleration is great. The braking is amazing. The fact that you get the DIY experience without all of this guesswork. The great customer service that individuals can get. The fact that it's utilizing the best ESC that is very customizable. You're getting a very solid product here. Individuals who are looking for a board and they're looking at boards at that mid-tier range, boards from about $600 to $900, I definitely think you should be looking at this board. 
this board does a lot of things well. And really, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have very many complaints at all about this board. I think that this is something that people can get and enjoy it and probably even customize and make it even better. It's already a really solid board, but personally, I like the board so much. This is the first board that I've actually considered customizing. I'm thinking about doing like a custom grip tape on the top. I have a friend who does amazing artwork. I'm thinking about letting him do it. And I'm even, we have some guys in the Atlanta Eastgate community that build batteries. I'm thinking about having them throw me on an even larger battery because I like all of the components of this board. The motors are amazing. The ESC is amazing. The motor mounts look great. You, you have a strong foundation where you can almost do anything you wanna do with this board. So overall, I really enjoy this board. I think that if you're somebody that's looking for a board and you have a budget from 600 to $900, this is definitely a board that should make you look and do a double take and probably a third take at that. I want to thank you, BOK Board, for sending out the dual board. If this board seems like a board that interests you, please take a moment to check out the link in the description. I also have a discount code that gets you a great discount on your board. As always, I'll see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Peace.